Okay guys, it is time to make the wings and I'll be using this template that I, I have printed for it. It's pretty old because I've used it a couple of times but it's still going to get us the shape that we need. And I've added an extension to the wing because this foam that I have here is not wide enough for the wing cord. So that's what I'm going to do now, cut out the template and then start getting in and out airfoil. Okay, now that we've cut the wing with the hot wire cutter, the next thing to do now is to sand them down with the sandpaper. So that is what we're going to do now. Let's get started. Now the wing has been sanded down and as you can see it is pretty smooth and I like how it turned out although there are some a little bit imperfections here a little bit imperfections here and some other places by the way it is, it is, it is much better than I expected so the next thing now will be to cut out the holes for the spar in the wing so let's do that now I'll be using this template to cut the holes and the slots for the spars in the wing so which means i am going to cut the wing around somewhere here then i'm going to be placing the two templates before i can cut the hole using my bow auto wire cutter Okay, this is my first wing that I've already cut the holes for the spars. So it's very easy to remove once you cut the thing cut on my you might as well just have to assist it by pushing something at the other end. So, I'm going to remove the rest as well now. Okay, here is the wing after removing those pre-cut holes for the spars and for the wiring and this one for the secondary spar. So I'm going to do the same thing to the second wing. This is the wing right now, including the um, center wing, which will be glued permanently to the fuselage. So the wings are going to be detachable later on. So here is the mid wing that I just cut. So I'm going to be cutting the spar holes and the um, wire accessing holes too as well. As you can see on the wing, it already have its own. Yeah, so also I'll be using this 3D printed um wing mount i designed it and i printed it so we're using it for detaching the wings okay now it is time to make the tails the view tail stabilizer so this is my template right here i'll be placing the template on the foam as you can see which i've already did so what i'm just going to do now is that i'm going to cut it out then shape into an a4 shape to make it more symmetrical let's get started
the stabilizer has been sanded down now and it has the air force shape by the roots and at the tip the next thing now will be to cut the control surface for the v tools and for the element As you can see, I have just glued my um, ailerons with the inch using epoxy, and this is the second one to as well. I also glued the control surface for the V tables as well. Now, the next thing I'm going to do now is to glue this to the printed detachable wing mount to glue it to the center wing before we glue the center wing to the fuselage. So, that's what I'm going to glue down using the epoxy. Yeah, guys so the fuselage now is almost complete i have glued down the mid wing to the fuselage and i have also glued the um v tables to the fuselage as well so what i'm going to do next now will be to glue the detachable mount for the wing i've already glued the um, one for the center wing already so that's what i'm going to do next now XUV Talon airframe now is not complete and I have installed the detachable wings. So you can see it's pretty much detachable. Okay. So in the next video now I'm going to be installing the electronics and hopefully we get to made in it. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on my new video. Bye bye.